let's go inside and I'll do like a quick walkthrough. I'm sorry it's not on the cannon. I'm sorry about any wind noise right now. But this will just kind of be like a little teaser for you guys so you can kind of see what they've done with the place. But just to show you. City of St. Thomas Heritage Building, 1873. Now if you look on the floor, it looks like it actually needs to be polished again. I've actually got a map showing all the routes, the rail routes. Hang on. There's a picture in its old former glory, trying to get it so the glare is not on it. Functional mailboxes still for the businesses that are here. You need to call somebody? Hello? Can you hear me now? <laughs> I'm surprised my mom doesn't have one of those. Yeah, and just show you a couple more pictures in here. Good day. Oh, not too bad. Just uh, getting some footage for the viewers on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, I've uh, been promising them a quick walk through this place for a while. Well, that's a. And it's too gorgeous not to show. <laughs> the only thing we ask you not to photograph is that painting, the uh, print of that thing. That was uh, uh, we'll keep uh, the camera out this way. Dollar Carnes have the original. They donated that, and the oh, painter oh. himself would prefer because he knows with current picture uh, cameras it can turn out as good as. Oh, I know. People that work here, and we know many people work here who've had contractors and stuff, but that's from. Donation to come in, right? Yeah, I think my mom actually has one of these old typewriters still. Okay, we're heading on up. Oh wow, I've never even seen that before. There's a CN Tower in construction, under construction. And seriously, folks, if you have never ever been up here before and in here to see everything that's been restored you are missing out large. You've got to come in and see this place. And this is the Railway Hall of Fame. Jeff Yurick's office down there. Ah, yes. A 16th scale model of the building we are actually currently standing in. I know some model builders that could probably truly appreciate. The elevator, not original. The Cousins Brothers. Vanderbilt. Brotherhood of Sleeping Car Porters and Red Caps. Ah. Thomas. Took my daughter to ride on Thomas a few times. The Charity Heritage Lodge number 37, Lady Fireman, the Lady Society. The Lady Society, founded in New York State in the late 1800s, was a woman's organization that was closely associated with the Brotherhood of Locomotive Firemen. The Society assisted the Brotherhood in their work, aided other women when the need arose and performed acts of charity, a branch of Lady Society was established in St. Thomas in 1900. It's Keith Hunt. Here's some, uh, some more older memorabilia. Look at that old jumbo sign. That's September 15th, 1885. That's when... 1885? <sighs> Great Scott! Yeah. St. Clair Tunnel. Kettle Creek Bridge, that's here in town. No, it's not. Read it again. Probably New York. The rail line between Chicago and New York. Read it again, Dickie. Yeah, it's One of the most traveled roads, the first bridge was built in 1871, and the final bridge, still standing, completed in 1929. The photo depicts the second, built, second bridge built in 1883. Kettle Creek is. Kettle Creek, St. Thomas. That's this area. 
Yeah, but I don't know if it's the one not so far the waterworks show. Oh, I know exactly where this is. This is... I'm surprised it's not named as the MCR trestle. Mm -hmm. Because I'm pretty sure that's what this right here. Here's the MCR trestle here. That is not the MCR trestle. Right. Cantilever Bridge, also known as the, Ni the Niagara. So this is down in the Niagara yeah, Gorge. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this one here. This is one over Sunset, correct? Yeah, that's the one that's going to have the elevated uh, park across stuff. Oh, okay. I thought so, because that is the original road, and that's the yeah. original car bridge. Yeah, a group called Entract. Well, actually, it was a group called Entract that bought the station here. And then a couple of some of the board members came over to us when we when we formed well we were already formed but they came over with us after on track. We kept the on track group alive. We didn't just didn't was it active as a name because we could get grants through, but we yeah. couldn't get through us. Mm -hmm. So when they decided they were, some a group got together, there's a couple of our guys on it, and there's some others formed a group we already had on track, so they just formed their own board and so they've got had architects that have done the drawings. They've, they've come a long way. Mm -hmm. I think they raised. They needed to raise a couple hundred thousand dollars to buy it once they determined it was structurally sound. So now they're that's going to be almost ready, right? Well, they get closer. I think Serge Serge Laws, the guy, is the president of the group, and he's told me that they expect to have that open all summer, like not as a park, but so people can go up and. I used to go across that all the time growing up. Yeah, <laughs> well, all the trestles. And just for the folks watching, this is George. I'm George. If you guys ever make it down here, yes. come speak to George. He is a fountain of knowledge and can answer probably 99% of what you want to know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This is just, it looks so great up here. Yeah, we're in the process of adopting a transom and those. Yeah, they took all those out after the gas heating went out, didn't they? Sorry? They took all the transom windows out after gas heating went yeah, out. Right on. Yeah. Oh, it's just, it's great to be able to walk up through here. We have our shops downstairs where the coffee place is. Yeah. Right. And when they wanted to rent it, we moved all of our stuff up here. Wow. And so up, our, we have some guys, volunteers that come out about working days progress. a week and they do a lot of. <laughs> there was a couple, when they opened the building, uh, Harry Mary Grass came and he was the oversight of the dining room. She was a matron. And this is where the girls, they hired 10 gals, 8 gals. Wow. And there were four bedrooms on either side. You could probably see yeah, yeah. And they had a, a parlor at the end, and then they had this walkway down the center. And then about 1925, we had a major fire kitchen, which destroyed yeah. the atmosphere. So after 1925, um, they got the meals prepared over at, so they telegraphed off the menus from the train, and they would take over the orders over to the Queen's Hotel across the road. That's awesome. <laughs> where, the, where the bank is. And yeah. they would bring all the meals out by cart and put them on the train. Well, by the time they got the, the kitchen fixed, restored, uh, most of the they had dining cars on the tracks in, so they didn't stop. This is a great idea. Yeah. To turn these old double doors into... This was a board table. Really? And you see that piece underneath there? Yeah. That was a, that was a staircase. When you come up the stairs, uh, just to, as you come up the stairs to your, and you go back around to the right, there was a, this stuff was a staircase went up to the attic. Oh, okay. And uh, the three volunteers we had decided it would be, we, we had a boardroom, one of the tenants has the room now. With the right there is where my camera ran out of memory card space. It happens. So guess what? That's good for you guys because there's going to be a part two where we do a very thorough walkthrough and get even more unknown information. Go down and check out the Queso Station. If you're in St. Thomas, it is one of the pieces of history that are still remaining and people fighting hard to preserve it. Thank you very much to those doing so. It looks awesome. If you watched all the way to this point, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day. Keep smiling.